Hello everyone, it's Mathematics. With me, uh, two questions coming from 2022. Okay, so the first one is 2022 grade 12, question number two. I also have 2022 GCE question number five. So now the first one says, factorize completely. Now, immediately you hear the word factorize, just know that the questions are coming from algebra, from a topic called algebra. So now the question reads, factorize completely 2ax plus 4ay minus 3bx minus 6by. Now remember, factorization, when we say factorization, we are talking about four types of factorization. So immediately you are given a question, you have to identify the type of factorization you are dealing with, okay? We have what we call um, common factorization. We also have factorization by grouping. So when we see four terms, one, two, three, four, just know that this type of factorization is by grouping. We also have quadratic factorization. Uh, that one has got three terms where you have, for example, 2x squared minus 4x uh, then plus 7. When you, when you have three terms, 1, 2, 3, just know that you're dealing with quadratic factorization. We also have another type with two terms, okay, whereby they will just ask you to factorize. Um, maybe we have 4x squared minus 1. This with two terms, just know that it is a difference of two squares, okay? And always there will be a minus in between. So with me, um, factorization by grouping because there are four terms, one, two, three, four. So since it is by grouping, it means you have to group them. You have to put them in two, okay? So I've got one, two, three, four terms. Here I have grouped them meaning uh, you will be able to introduce brackets. You've seen, I've introduced brackets there to demarcate or to group them. Now, it's not always that the way the terms are arranged here will be arranged for you, no. Sometimes you find that the pair for this one is this side. Are you seeing that? In that case, you have to bring this near to that. And when you are doing that, please, no change of signs because these are algebraic expressions. They are not equations for you to say, when I move the negative 6, C, B, Y um, moves near to 2, A, X, then the negative will be able to change. No, it will remain the way it is. Remember, the sign only change when you are crossing the equal sign. Okay, so here I've grouped them. After grouping them, you are now going to introduce what we call common factorization. Look at what we have here. What is common? We have 2a because 2 can go into 4. And I also have a here and a. So I've got 2a here. Now what will remain? Or when I say 2a into 2ax, I'm going to remain with the x here plus 2 into 4 here. I'll have 2. Then I've got y. Are you seeing that? Then minus here. You also do the same on the other side. What is common here? 3b. What you remain? X plus 2y. Have you seen that? And then at this stage here, whatever you're going to have this side here should be the same on the other side. You see that? So that you just get what is outside, which is 2a minus 3b. You bring it here. And also, since these are the same, you just get 1, which is x plus 2y. Therefore, this is your final answer. Now look at the number of marks allocated two of them, right? It means your method here, which we call method mark when marking, method mark will attract one mark, and also your final answer, which is answer mark, will also have one mark. I hope you have learned something here. Now, I'm not going to answer the second question here. This one will be done by you, which is coming from 2022 GCE question number five. It says factorize completely, 2ab plus xy minus 2ay minus bx. Two marks. Kindly factorize. Thank you.